Hi friends, Tova here, ceramic artist at my shop, St. Florence. Okay, I'm gonna just jump right into this fun video. Everyone loves a party, right? So a couple days prior, I decided to host a pop-up party to celebrate my launch with some friends. And this past week, um, I've been prepping for my online store launch and that launched on 7-7 Sunday. Seven's my favorite number. I'm really excited about that. Funny story, I only have three seats, so I could only invite three friends. And these particular friends have been supporting me on my new journey, so um, I invited them to this pop-up party to celebrate my launch. And during this time, I taught my friends how to make pinch cups. Then afterwards, we underglazed them. And the event was so much fun. One, because it was a new opportunity to explore teaching and facilitating in a way where I'm just like supporting people's art journey. <laughs> Hold up, can we pause for a second? So I forgot my friend has long nails and this is a struggle. Who else has the same struggle? Let me know. Just adding air to it. Okay, what else Okay, do it. <laughs> I mean, it's like kind of working. I don't know it's working. What? It's definitely a lot of clay What is I have to use my knuckles to get in here. Okay, okay. So that's, that's what's happening. Am I doing it? We made it through, we made it through. So she figured out a way to make the pinch cup. And I love actually the outcome of her piece. She made this beautiful tulip. And I also gave them these really cute party favor gifts. They were some of those small rainbow, rainbow dreamy dishes that you've been seeing me post about. I also wanted to take this opportunity to promote my work um, and just celebrate with friends in my community. I do think that there's ways that we can still promote our work without one robbing the bank, but like also I hosted a pop-up within my home, which is free. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing right now? <laughs> that is a big mug handle. <laughs> How are you gonna get that to stick? <laughs> I do. It's huge. The biggest pool ever. Or should I do it this way? Who knows? You do. <laughs> it's so huge. Huge. <laughs> Yes. Hi, I'm Matt Acosta, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> Making a Photoshop letter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, your turn. <coughs> no? Okay. <laughs> I'm still my voice. You're watching the Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Action! I'm Tyler, and you're watching the Disney Channel. <laughs> That's not how you do it. <laughs> I'm Tyler, and you're watching the Disney Channel. Okay, so while here at the pop-up, I did want to talk about community. Um, and I'm curious, how do you build community? I think about this all the time because I'm currently making my own art at home. And for me, I feel like it could be isolating sometimes as an artist who lacks a community. And um, however, I do want to be intentional about building my community through my business. 
So I want to build a tribe where friendships can form and long lasting connections can take shape. So I kind of think of like a wine membership where you sign up for, so let's say that you get wine four times a year, but like you have the opportunity to not just have it shipped, but to go to that pickup party. And it's really fun because you can meet people while also drinking some of those special wines that you've ordered. I kind of want to like center my business around the same premise and idea. So yes, on the shop, you can buy these beautiful ceramic pieces, but each month I will have a pick a party option, but I just want to create a space where people can pick up their work. We can hang out. You can meet other art enthusiasts. So let me know what you think about that idea. Hello, so it's the day after my pop-up. It's Sunday evening and um, I just wanted to share what my friends were working on last night and I'm just going to clean up some of the glazes um, just to make sure that there's nothing around the bottom so it doesn't drip onto the kiln shelf. Um, Hold on. So um, my friend Sulky, the one who had really long nails, um, made a beautiful tulip. Hold on, let me grab that. And this is it right here. And she carved out little, like just to make it look like petals. And so I'm just gonna like clean up the edge on the bottom. But, and then she put a bow inside. This is gorgeous. I love what she worked on and she added some texture. It's beautiful. I think she'll really like that. And then my friend Tyler, just wanted a simple shape and he actually wants glaze um, it to be glazed and so we didn't do any underglaze but um, this is his cup right here it's simple and he's gonna just do black glaze until here and then white around here and then you're just gonna see the under part and so oh by the way this is um, dragon fruit uh, clay so um, so it'll be really pretty you'll see the like clay body underneath Um, He's gonna go for that. I love that simple shape. And then Matt worked on this beautiful small little bowl. Um, And these holes are where you can put chopsticks in. So he was trying to do like this ombre orange yellow effect. And I'm gonna just clean up the bottom here too, just to make sure it doesn't hit the edge. But I love what they worked on, very unique. I didn't know what anyone was gonna do. Um, but it's just also really cool to see everyone's different like creative process and like their artistic style. Oh wait, I want to show you what I worked on too. Um, <laughs> and it's kind of hard to pick up. I wanted to do something completely different from what I normally do. Um, so I, I actually have noticed and I, I've seen like pinch cups with like the large handles and I seen that everywhere and I think they're really really cute however I've wanted to do one for myself um and I kind of like created my own twist to it like the handle is really really chunky um a little too chunky here's the handle I did polka dots and stripes on the outside and you'll see the clay around some of these edges and then I did little bows because I'm super into hello kitty and bow ties and all of those things and then I'll glaze do a clear glaze to here and this is purple um and then i'll just like the, let the outside be exposed but um that's my piece it's um massive it's um like it's just a large mug i love large mugs i love to drink tea and maybe i could put like ice cream in it and it'll just be like a cute thing for myself and i never really actually make things for myself like i make things that like i think people will like and i think it's more for like art and stuff like that but like i never really take the time to make what i want and this is kind of something i wanted to do for myself so that actually felt really nice to do
So how do you see this space? I see it as a platform, actually like it's a vehicle to navigate us the places that we want to grow and meet. So that's where that pickup party and creating pop-up events like what you see here kind of takes shape and takes form. So by the time you see this video, my shop will be live. Yay! Um, but please check out my shop and let me know what you think. Um, the shop will be open until Sunday, July 14th. And um, my new collection is Summer Vibes. So I hope you enjoy it. And I just want to say thank you again for watching this video. And I hope I see you again soon.